Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we walked through turning a layer with a transparency gradient that's driven by data into a cookie cutter effect using the destination atop blend mode, which reveals population density in this case using underlying imagery instead of just a boring solid color fill, which is kind of fun and interesting. You can use other base maps on this. I happen to be using the terrain with labels base map, but you could use topographic or open street map, you know, whatever you want. Actually, let's try a dark base map. That looks pretty cool. You know, what if we tried just imagery? Oh yeah, obviously that doesn't work anymore because we've got data-driven imagery on top of imagery. And so it all just blends together. I'm going to change the background color. I'm going to enable background color and choose any grayscale color. If it can be white, gray, or black, I'll choose black. And in my base map, I'll choose this world imagery layer and select its blend mode to be luminosity. Now I've got a grayscale base map with population density data driven saturation on top. We're painting with saturation. 